Hello, and welcome back to Sage Plays Final Fantasy XIV. We're going to get right, right from where we left off. First off, we got a class quest to go to, guys. We also got to go to the Central Shroud. There's also a couple of things I'm going to be showing off in the next couple of videos. Uh, I'm going to be doing this video, uh, and there's going to be two more videos that's coming up this week. Um, but yeah, I'm having fun with this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the next part of our archer class. So, let's go see her. Alright. So, doing this will give us a few options. So let's go ahead. Good day to you, Sage. I felt that it was about time you returned. Have you grown more accustomed to the bow? Before we go any further, I wish to ensure that you have grasped the fundamental essence of archery. Tell me, Sage, do you truly understand what it means to see clearly? To see clearly is not merely to look. It is to observe with intent. Fail to do this and no amount of talent with the bow will avail you. An archer must, re must remain vigilant for any trace of his target, overlooking not the smallest detail lest it prove uh, crucial to the realization of his purpose. He must ensure it see clearly. The coming task will test your powers of observation. A number of targets have been hidden throughout the city. I would, I would have you seek out and destroy them. Each will fall easily to your heavy shot technique. When you have completed the task, return to me and we will continue. So there we go. This is actually quite simple. Throughout various places, there's various targets to find. So all you gotta do is just go look about Gudania and look for the targets. And if you see any shinies, shoot them. Like that one right there. And now that that little orange uh, circle is no more, we look for the next. There's another target down. That's four targets. But yeah, basically we just look about, see if there's any shinies up and about. There's one right there. So let's get closer to it. Okay, five out of six. And there's another one. There we go.
Ah, you have returned. I trust you have begun to comprehend the crucial importance of seeing clearly. The next trial will test your powers of observation in battle. Travel to the North Shroud and there put down eight micro chews and eight opa opos. In contrast to the inanimate and wholly unthreatening targets of the previous trial, these creatures may be relied upon to move around and fight back. Nor are those the only differences. Uh, being comparative numerous micro chews and opa opos are anything but difficult to find. And yet, you may be assured that this task will test your powers of observation, albeit in a different manner. This time, you will need to evaluate the abilities of your opponent, and in so doing, you will learn, among, amongst other things, that microtubes produce a poison that can quickly sap one's strength, while Opa Opos, like archers, possess the advantage of range. Knowing the strengths, how, how will you go about mitigating them? If you commence your attack uh, before identifying an effective strategy, you will soon be made to regret your folly. But if you take the time to observe your targets from afar, you will surely glean the knowledge necessary to defeat them. I look forward to hearing of your success, Sage. So, as I stated, a lot of these early quest lines, they're pretty simple. But for right now, we're going to head over to the central shop. And we're going to... And actually, what we can do... Is that... Eh, I'm going to save my money for right now. I'm going to save my money for right now. So there's a couple of places we need to go. One is right over here for the main story. Now, as I said, we could have easily teleported, but I really don't mind running. Also, any creature that attacks you, if you choose not to attack them, you can choose to run away and eventually they will, they will reset. So now, let's talk to Keitha. You must be the adventure that Mawain sent word about. I'm Kithia. Head wrangler around these parts. I've heard many, many and more things about you. Good things, lest you worry. When the elder seed there bade us welcome ventures, it's fair to say we've we had our doubts. So hard working, hard working folk, folk like yourself set about proving us wrong. That is, con consider me a convert. Any road. You've mind anyone you've mind to help out the ranch, have you? Good. We can always do a, we can always do with a hand or two to keep the place running smoothly. As a matter of fact, I've got a test right here that's that's once done. Let me know when you're ready to get busy, oh. And you come highly recommended, so don't go let no one down, eh? Yay. We're gonna go ahead and pick these uh trousers. Also, there's a recommended gear that I can choose.
Seven Hells, some bastard uh, Koikon has gone and broken one of the chocobos, one of the chocobo eggs. That filthy little thief was busy looting the barn when a guard startled it. Prompted the damn thing to drop the egg, it was clutching and run. Some of the lads gave chase, bless them. With, but when three more of the vermin uh, appeared, Milad had no choice but to turn back. Something has got to be done about the Kokan. Would you mind handing over to the Matron's lease and having a word with the soldier named Rosaline for me? The rat men nest uh, in, the, in, the, in her neck of the woods, see? She'll know what to do. Alright, yeah, okay, now that we've accepted that quest, my friends, we are going. Uh, there's actually something I'm wanting to take a look at. There's 12 more uh, things of mail that I've noticed. So, there's that, which is fine. And then delete the letter. There is this, chicken knives, and all that. And then we'll delete the letter. And by the way, like I said, this is for pre-ordering certain, uh, certain items. Yeah, I sort of recruited a friend many, many, many years ago. But in return, I'm also getting a whole, a whole lot of letters. So, uh, yeah, I got a lot of chocobo friends because somebody, somebody happily started playing this game. That is, that is certain incentives for continuously subscribing. Simple outfits. Drop chocobo. And of course, this. So, I had completely forgotten about this when I made this character. So, I think that is finally all of it. So yes, I admit, I sort of forgot about that. <laughs> you know what? It's all good. Plus, if I wish to change how my character looks, I have two bottles of Fantasia. Cause you know, you never know. You may, so, I may want to transform into a Lollafell. Cause you know, we gotta love those Lollafells. So, anywho. We gotta head that way. We will also head to the North Shroud on our way over. Also, a couple of other things. I have new earrings. I also have that. 
you know, friendship circling. Because, you know, yeah, why not? Anywho. One day that mount will be mine. Oh, yes. One day she will be mine. You're here on Katha's behalf, hmm? I see. Broke one of her eggs, you say. And there were four other creatures? The cook kind of are a nuisance at the best of times, but we now... We must now add trespass and chokeable murder to the list of transgressions. They have forced our hand. Our, our retribution must needs be swift and decisive. And who better than you to deliver an adventure? Find the lair to, to the west of here and make an example of, ex of exactly four cocoon scramblers. We can send no clearer message. So basically, yeah. We got, we got some killing to do. <laughs> Anywho, um, I, actually it might be over here. Actually, yeah, I went the wrong way. My apologies. Yeah, I sort of went the wrong way. So you know what? There's plenty of these guys for all of us. That to one. That's three. Now, unfortunately, I just gotta wait for some of these guys to respawn. Cause yay. Ah, there's one. Okay. And I'll kill this guy just for a heck of it. I gotta head over to gotta get head over to this dude. Well, Rosaline. <sighs> yeah, we gotta head over to Rosaline. The deed is done. Good. A current task, but a necessary one. You have shown them the folly of inciting the wrath of those who would consort you with, with adventurers. Perhaps now the cocoon will think twice before giving in to their 
Larcenous proclivities. Sure. Hold that eventually. You seem light on your feet. Fancy a quick step along the route of the heavens pillar here? I need someone to pick off a blue trumpet or two. I know what you're thinking. It's not more than a mushroom. So why the commotion? I'll tell you why. You allow those fungal, uh, those fungal menace to multiply and within a moon, they'll be covering the whole damn route and rotting the wood clear through. Just watch your step while you're up there, though. The dynamite's on the ground. Won't waste any time adding insult to, uh, to falling in injuries. Once you're done, head up, head up to the top. Head up to the top end of the route and report to Theodore. He'll be glad to hear someone's taking care of, the, of one of his more dreaded chores. Also, do you have anything interesting? Oh, just potions. Just potions. We don't need no potions. At least not yet. I can make potions if all else fails. Now, I will say be careful on this tree. Every so often, a fate likes to spawn in this area. Ah! Oh, well, um, run. Now let's try this again. <laughs> Let us try this again! There we go. Now we gotta head up. To Theodore, oh Theodore. Oh, you, oh, you've cleared the route of blue trumpets. Wonderful. To be quite honest, I have this teeny tiny palm with heights. Uh, no, it's not my ideal posting, but we've all do what we must. Keeping the route passable is an important job, you see. It's one of the few ways folk can traverse the central shroud since the calamity all but split the area in twine. It is not perhaps the easiest pathway to walk, but there are those who believe the will of the matron herself caused the tendril of the heavens pillar to remain thus suspended, that it might serve the forest people. I'm rather fond of the notion myself. Okay. It is regrettably my duty to stand watch over the road from here to Prince Branch Meadows. The ranch has become a variable institution of Gadania, so any threats to its continued operation are, qu are taken quite seriously to the wood, rail wood whalers. Which reminds me, mayhap it was my imagination, but I believe I caught a glimpse of some shadowy fellow not too long ago. Would you mind passing word to Rosaline down below? I would go myself, but, well, it's hard enough marshalling the courage to walk the route for my ship. Translation? You would like me to do this stuff for ya. You know what? That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, so already, we're already at level 11. We're close to level 12. And yes, that is because of some items that we have. Oh, 
Oh, I can portly past her. Oops. Hi, Rosaline. A shadowy fellow. Mm. Now that you mention it, I may have seen something. I dismissed, I dismissed it as a trick of the light before, but I thought I saw a shadow in the forest to the north. Still, I suspect it is nothing more than a concurrent thief on the run. If you must state your curiosity, by all means, investigate. Should you actually find something of note, I would like very much to see it. Okay, so we are going to head this way. That takes care of you. I was gonna say I didn't mean to mess with my hot bar like that, but oh well. Fixed it. And now I can run. Have you found something? Well, there is this leather bag. Remnants of, of a campfire and a forgotten bag. This could belong to any adventure or traveler. And inside we have a chocobo grooming brush and roselling oil. But wait, why would a traveler make camp here when it would be far safer to beg the hospitality of Bench Ranch Miller's? Bugger me, I think this belongs to that stranger said to be meddling with the chocobos. Thank you, adventurer. We have been lax in our duties, but no longer. I swear we will find this fellow. So, let's get this. We cannot allow other sentries to dismiss similar sightings. They must know what we have learned. To that end, I prepared this letter containing everything we know about our mysterious stranger. I need you to show it to my comrades throughout the shroud. Uh, once each century has committed to details, the details to memory, have them write their name at the bottom for confirmation. Start with Elmer at the Bannock, then find Bernard at the eastern gates of Bench Branch Meadows. They ought to relay the information to the others. Finally, make sure Elgar sees the letter. He, stand, he stands watch within, within the stables, so if the strangers aim to harm the chocobos, Elgar may have, may have to personally put it into it. Okay. So, let's head this way. You don't look like you're here for training. Yeah, I'm here to give you this. Shadowy figure. Understood I'll password to the recruits as well as the sentries. Let me make my mark. Let me let me just make my mark there, that should do. If you follow the road south, you'll find Bernard by the bridge to Bench Branch. Godspeed, adventure.
You have business with me, adventure? Yes, I want to hand you this. Rosalind is right to be cautious, for this strange adventure so close yet uh, go to so, such great lengths to remain undetected is highly suspicious. They clearly have designs on Bench Branch. We appreciate the help. I should write my name here, yes, and here, take it. You'll find out Aelgar in the stables, past the Etherite. So, now we head this way. Mind the birds adventure, they get nervous around strangers. I'm just here to give you this. <clears throat> What's this? A shadowy stranger near the Matron's lease? You've already shown this to Bernard and Alma. I see, good, good. Then all that's left is to inform, inform the staff here. Now everyone here is a wood whaler, true. But even our stable boys wouldn't hesitate to take up arms to defend the chocobos. You're quite the compassionate adventure by the sound of it. Well, far be it for me to look a gift chocobo in the mouth. I may need a capable man like yourself. We, we received a peddler at the gates the other day, an excitable lala fellow that was sweating and swearing that he had been attacked by large winged beasts. Yet, other than hornets, I, I know of no flying creatures in this region. If there is any truth to what he said, it might prove problematic for other travelers. Follow the road south and see if you can find any evidence to support this claim. And should you find something, kindly tell Lothair to patrol the area sometime instead of just standing between the spire and staring at the God's damn road. In those words. <laughs> yeah, in those words. So, now we gotta head this way. So basically, one of the biggest tips I will have to anybody who's just playing this game is that until you get your Chocobo, which is your first mount, uh, I highly recommend you sprint any time you get a chance. Now you may be wondering, you may, be, you may ask me, but Sage, what are these weird swirly things on top of the names? Well, those are hunting logs. And I am saving those for another time. The reason being is because of the fact that you can level up every class with one character. Ooh. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and head over this way. <clears throat> a northern vulture, too, and they were defending a nest? Well, I uh, perhaps we could omit the last detail from any official reports. I would rather not give Erlager any, any further cause to be cross. Thank you for slaying the beast. You may rest assured that I will not permit this to happen again. <clears throat> yeah. Make sure you don't. I have another task for you, Adventure. I need you to head over to the hedge tree to the southwest of here and speak with Healer Leone. After tending to the hedge tree, the healer, uh, the healer um, was scheduled to board a boat from the mirror planks. Well, the vessel's departure time has come and gone, but there's still no sign of her. 
Knowing how absorbed the healer becomes in her work, I am not un unduly concerned. Armel, however, was responsible for organizing Leone's transportation and is likely wondering if her wayward pastor is ever going to arrive. Wondering if her wayward pastor is ever going to arrive. Perhaps a gentle reminder is in order. Well, let's head over there. So, by the way, from uh, there's a lot of these uh, enemies, not the swarms, however, but for example, those large scorpions, like Duramites, they, at your level, will be highly aggressive. Now, I do notice that the higher levels, when you get to, like, say, level 50, they leave you alone. So, yeah, we're going to head over here. I wonder if this is close to the next instance quest. Not quite, but we're getting there. Yes, what troubles you may... Ah, yes, the boat. I had quite forgotten. Hmm? Oh, my task with the head tree is well unfinished, but the elementals murmur of a, of a malevolent presence in the vicinity of the Tam Terra Deep Crop. I must abide a while longer that I might better divine the source of the elementals' distress. Please inform Armel that I should be late in arriving. Well, that, well, that sounds, um, that sounds very, uh, foreshadowing. By the way, if you are brand new to the game, there are these little, uh, things you could do right here. These will actually teach you about your class, about your role in this game. Uh, for example, there is several types of class roles. Or well, actually, there's three, to be honest. But there's tank, healing, and DPS. Uh, if you don't know how to tank, you can actually learn what that does and what you can do to be a better tank by going to any one of these icons with the sprout icon on it just to learn more about it and if you do complete it i do believe you get a set of like early you get a set of armor for that will help you out early on i sh I, I shall organize a vessel at a later time then perhaps about from now two better make it three just to be safe thank you for your trouble Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Might you assist me with another matter, sir? A wagon has departed from the from quarry mill. Uh, a wagon that departed from quarry mill was overturned on the road with some huge, ill-tempered forest beast. Chose that moment to defend his, ter defend his territory. By Nofika's grace, the, drivers esca the driver escaped without serious injury. But the wagon's cargo was not so un not so fortunate. With none willing to risk another encounter with the creature, I can only assume the goods remain strewn across the ground where the incident occurred. Simply follow the road here to the south, and you should come across the wreckage. Salvage what cargo you can and deliver it to Keitha at Bench Branch Meadows. If you would so be be so kind, if you would be so kind, I cannot talk today. Like I, like, I do apologize. I am fumbling my words, my friends. I am literally fumbling my words. Now, any time throughout the story that you see a purple mist like this, this means the moment you enter, you will enter a fight.
Okay, that's basically all you have to do. It's just interact with the cargo. And by the way, I don't have my camera on in, in this series because a lot of times when I'm doing these recordings, uh, I look like a hot mess. I'll be honest with you. I think I look like a hot mess. So, if you want to see a face cam when I play, when I play games like this, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and just, yeah, just let me know. Because the more of you who wants to see my face cam in the YouTube videos, and the more I'll actually do so. But like I said, a lot of times I usually do face cams lately on over on the other side. When I do live streams. Alright, my friends, we're going to head over to Keitha. You have a delivery for me. Yes, I do. Ah, this is a shipment. I was waiting on it from Corymel. I heard the wagons ran afoul of some great monstrosity just up the path from the Mary Planks, but I see you've managed to scrape together a few bits and pieces. Seems I can't get through two bells these days without hearing some tale of horrors in the deep crop, or bandit cutthroats prowling the woods hereabout, hereabouts. Makes me wonder if me chocobos at, are safe at night. Makes me wonder if the, uh, yeah, if me chocobos are safe at night, it does. If we're ever in need of adventurous skills, I hope you'll be around to lend a hand. I mean, I'll be around. Hello there, adventurer. Welcome to Bench Branch Mountains. What can I do for you? Oh, I've already spoke to her. I thought I was. I thought I had another quest there for a second. It might have been uh, video game lag. <clears throat> no. Oh, please, gods, no. Leah's eggs. Sage, you must help me. I stepped out of the stables, but for a moment, and when I returned, it was gone. I. What was gone? An egg. Sorry, you are sure the chocobos uh, will lay another? God, you don't understand. The egg is extremely valuable. I must find it. You will help me, won't you, Sage? Oh, thank you, thank you. Someone must have made off with it. There can be no ex other explanation. I shall scour every limb of the stable once more, just to be sure. While I do so, is I should be very grateful if you would ask the others if they noticed anything unusual. Wait, well, you know what? Let's look around. Let's first, let's just look around. See anyone acted suspicious? I most certainly did, lad. Amanda was uh, running off uh, towards the Tam Terra Deep Cop. Hmm? You say an egg was took? Then I say there, there was your culprit. But why would anyone pinch an, a chocobo egg without the proper learning? It's damn near impossible to get one to hatch. A chocobo egg has gone missing? Hmm, well let me think. Now that you mentioned, the chocobos were making quite a racket earlier. So much so that, in fact, I went over to check on them, almost flattening a passing peddler in my haste. I, did, I didn't find anything out of the ordinary, though. Hmm, could I describe the peddler? Oh, he was an amazing fellow. Didn't recognize his face, seemed awfully twitchy. Oh, God, you don't think he... Why in the hell didn't I cost him?
Oh, there you are. Have I seen any odd characters about? Aside from yourself, you mean? Not that I recall. I did see someone calming the birds, but only from a distance. I assumed it was Luquillot. But if you say he was away from the stables at the time, then who was, who was that with the chocobos? Yeah, who that? Who was that with the chocobos? So, we're gonna head this way. There can be no mistake then, the egg was indeed stolen. And from what you have told me, this was no simple ro robbery. That the copper was would take only Leah's egg and disregard all the rest tells me we're dealing with someone well versed in chocobo ring. I am sorry to say that the individual in question is likely to be a citizen of <clears throat> a citizen of my native Ishgard. Leah, you see, is of the bloodline of Oranos. One of the greatest birds ever to grace an Ishgardian stable. Many a man in my homeland would give his right arm to possess one of Leah's eggs. Guys, I should have I should have foreseen this. We must give chase at once. Hold your chuckles, Louis Quat. Look a lot. If this egg thieves from Ishgard, if you uh, like you say, why do you go run off towards the Tam Terra Deep Cop? Unless I got my mental map upside down, that's the opposite direction. Well, well, yes, he may seek to lay a false trail, or, uh, bah, that's why, of, the why of it is not important. Lay his eggs all that matters, adventure, I beg you. Hunt the schedule down and take back what he stole. Well, at least you ain't planning on chasing after him yourself, wherever he's from. We may work wonders with our bird sage, but acts of daring do ain't exactly our field. If you don't mind, we'll leave that end of things to you. Of course you will. With luck, you may catch the thief on the road to the Tam Terra Deep Cough. Do be careful. We may we cannot be certain he is working alone in this. So, yeah, we gotta head because Tam Terra Deep Cough is over yonder. So we gotta head south. Uh, Leo. Zombie pikemen. Copo, what are you doing? What are you doing here? In fact, what am I doing here? What will I find next? Find out next time on Sage Plays Final Fantasy 14. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time.